The first monks came here at the end of the third, the beginning of the fourth century. They came here because this was a harsh desert. It provided them with the silence and the austerity that they were looking for to devote their lives to prayer and fasting. But this is also the place where God appeared to Moses, first at the bush that burned without being consumed, and then at the peak of Sinai where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. And this is the beginning of the text. The monastery has never been destroyed and never been abandoned in all of its history. And through the years, many manuscripts were written here, many manuscripts were brought here. The community has been predominantly Greek throughout its history, but it has also been the goal of pilgrims from all over the world, and that is reflected in the library. We have manuscripts in 11 different languages, the five largest categories are Greek, Arabic, Syriac, Georgian, and Slavonic. No other monastery library has manuscripts in so many different languages. The Monastery Library has 3,300 manuscripts in the old collection, approximately 1,000 manuscripts in the new finds, and perhaps another 1,000 manuscripts in the archives, which also contain both Arabic and Ottoman scrolls. <laughs> It's awesome, yeah, it's really a special experience. We were looking forward to this. We flew in just a couple days ago. We immediately came here right away, and we thought it would be very special to tour the monastery, to hike Gebel Musa, and uh, we saw the sunset last night. We came down, walked down, um, it was almost a full moon, so it's, it's awesome. Uh, last night we climbed the mountain and we watched sunset, and today we were in the uh, monastery and we also got to meet with one of the fathers and learn about the library and all of the sacred manuscripts and I have to say that was probably one of my favorite parts.